Hi, everybody, and welcome in this afternoon here on MountAthletics.tv. I'm Steve Stauffberg, Roy Sigler on board as well. And what a classic matchup this always is. Mount St. Mary's, Robert Morris, although the league says we can only play them one time unless we see each other in conference play in the tournament coming up in March. Well, Roy, when it's one time, you got to make the most of it. And the Mount did take care of their one-time opportunity against St. Francis, PA, on Thursday night. Really exploded in the second half to get that win. Yeah, they got to be able to play uh, both halves against this team. This is uh, their seven and four. They've lost two in a row to two of the top teams. St. Francis of uh, New York up there. And St. Francis of New York, when they won up there, shot 36 free throws. Oh. And then they lost to Wagner on Thursday, and Wagner shot 43 throws. Well, I can do that math, 76 free throws. That kind of sounds like a typical game against LIU, but, yeah. you know, against teams like that, well, you can see they're getting after, and that must mean something's going on with the defense there with Robert Morris. Yeah, and, and w uh, Wagner uh, shot 40 free throws, and uh, Robert Morris only shot 20. So, yeah. you know, but yes, they, 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 they must have been fouling a lot. Well, Roy, we saw something come alive in this team in the second half against PA. And that's a good thing right now because the team's still trying to find identity. It really all of a sudden exploded against the young PA squad. Yeah, it's, it's urgency time now. And uh, that showed up in the uh, second half the other night. They could have gone down the tubes. Neither team played very good, and uh, they had their best half of the season. As Roy points out, it's needed now with the win on Thursday. The Mount now 4-7, and seven, and we are in the tie for 8th place right now in the conference. Remember, only the top 8 teams actually make the tournament play. And so today, boy, it would be huge to get it against Robert Morris, who is 7-4, and four, but as you said, have lost 2 in a row. You know, when you look at a game like this, it's still it's a home game, not arena. This should be your venue for a win. Oh, absolutely. A couple of the keys here, I think the boards, uh, rebounding, that's one of Mount's strengths when, they, when they're really getting on the boards. Uh, they scored 11 baskets off of offensive rebounds against uh, St. Francis of PA the other night. And they got two guys, Jones and Williams, combined have shot 269 threes and made 97. So those two guys can uh, jack it up. Wow, well, better be ready for their guards, number one. Number two, we better rebound well, as you talked about, because, boy, Robert Morris, second in the conference in offensive rebounds. They average over 10 a game, and so you can't give them second chance points. But here's the thing I love, and this is really the identity of this ri rivalry. Robert Morris, number two scoring defense. Mount St. Mary's, number three scoring defense in the NEC. That's what we expect. Let's get after it here at Knott Arena. Yeah, Mike Rice started that up there at Robert Morris. He's now the coach at Rutgers. And, uh, you know, you know, Mount St. Mary started to play some great defense uh, here three or four years ago. And Robert Morris came right along and did the same thing. Now let's see if we can get after it here today on the day of Hall inductions into the Mount St. Mary's Hall of Fame, Mount Robert Morris. What could ask for anything more? Starting lineups on the way. Robert Morris scored eight of the final 10 points to rally for a 67 to 62 win against the Mount on Saturday afternoon. Senior Danny Thompson tied the game at 59 on a tip in with two minutes and 47 seconds left, but the Colonials took the lead for good on a basket in the paint with 96 seconds left. Mount St. Mary's grabbed a 32 to 21 lead with two minutes and 42 seconds remaining in the first half, thanks to 12 points from sophomore Julian Norfleet. Robert Morris then went on a 20 and five run to take the lead, only to see the Mountaineers go on a 13 and four spurt to reclaim the advantage and the game remained close the rest of the way, but the Colonials escaped with the win. Norfleet tied a career high with 23 points, including going eight for nine from the foul line. Freshman Kelvin Parker recorded 17 points. Junior Christian Krina added eight points in the game and sophomore Josh Castellanos dished out eight assists on the afternoon. I let them make a couple spurts. I was, you know, I thought our guys really competed well, kept fighting. I, mean, I think we continue to, to improve, uh, but it's disappointing to let that one get away. What do you think um, you did differently in the second half that you, um, from what you did in the first half? Oh, I don't know that we did anything differently. It's a game of ebbs and flows, and you know, they made some runs, we made some runs. Um, so, uh, you know, it wasn't, they, they, got, they got adjusted to the zone a little bit. Um, it was, it, that's just a really good basketball game, and someone's got to lose that game. Unfortunately, it was us tonight. 
It was a very exciting game, and how did you feel about the vibe tonight in the gym for homecoming? I thought it was great. It was great to see all the students out. Uh, it was a great atmosphere in the night, and you know, hopefully they'll come back and support these guys the way they played. I mean, they left everything on the floor tonight. So. They definitely left everything on the floor. Great game tonight, and good luck on, against Wagner. Thanks, Dan.